Sure. Islam, in fact, was the first religion to grant women status in society. In past societies, such as those maintained by the Romans, Greeks, and Babylonians, women were denigrated, used for sex and pleasure, treated as property, and prostituted. Some civilizations even considered women as evil instruments of the devil and deprived women of various basic rights. Some societies even buried baby girls alive after birth. Additionally, in many societies, women were deprived of their basic inheritance of rights by men and were considered and treated as transferable properties. However, Islam gave women the right to own property and receive their just inheritance from relatives. Islam provided women the right to education, the right to marry who they please, to retain their family name after marriage, to divorce, to work outside the home, the right to earn her own independent income, to start her own business, to vote, all at a time when the giving of these rights to females was not the norm. In Islam, the husband is not allowed to touch his wife's money without her will, and he is obligated to support her and cover household expenses. Islam introduced the rights of a mother, wife, daughter, etc. to the annals of culture. When the Holy Quran was revealed, its scripture condemned sexist attitudes and discrimination towards women and at the same time raised and uplifted the status of women, honored them and demonstrated as how they could maintain their God-given honor. Nowhere in the Holy Quran would you find a verse that degrades women or give them a secondary status. The Holy Quran even devotes an entire chapter named the woman, and there is no such chapter named the men. The Holy Quran also contains a chapter named Mary, and she is mentioned throughout the book. Islam's first follower was a woman. The first martyr in Islam was also a woman. Prophet Muhammad stated, the most complete of the believers in faith is the one with the best character among them, and the best of you are those who are best to your woman. We learn from another narration in which Prophet Muhammad stated, Whoever has three daughters, or three sisters, or two daughters, or two sisters, and he keeps good company with them and fears Allah regarding them, then paradise is for him. Treating one's parents well, especially the mother, is highly mandated in Islam and in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran elevates mothers to a very high status and commands everyone to treat their mothers with the utmost respect, kindness, tenderness, love, devotion, and care. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, stated, Paradise lies under the feet of your mother. Additionally, when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was asked by a companion, Who amongst the people is the worthiest of my companionship? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, responded, Your mother. Then the man asked, Then who? And Prophet Muhammad replied, Your mother. Then the companion replied, Then who? Then Prophet Muhammad replied, Your mother. At which point the companion replied, Then who? And finally, Prophet Muhammad replied, Then your father.